We need big ones. So guys, hello and welcome to another video. We want to welcome you to beautiful Padre Island National Seashore. Should we spin? Should we spin? Let's do a spin. spin. To compensate for our drone footage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I forgot it. So, last weekend we were out here participating in the Sharkathon Shark Fishing Tournament. Now, we did not win that tournament, but we did pretty good on our good sized redfish. So, we are going to take another shot at that right now today. The goal is to get the biggest redfish or get a good sized shark into the box. That's what we're gunning for. What are you fishing for, Sevy? Nothing. Nothing. Nice fish. Nice fish. You got to fish too. Everybody shark. fishing. And shark. Redfish and shark for today. I go to put a bait on and Savvy's stealing my rod, taking my fish. Oh. Nope, nothing yet. That's your bait. That's the bait we got. We got to cast them back out. Talk to you about that. That was my rod and it was my fish to catch. If you want to catch a fish, you can cast your own rod. You can't go! <laughs> we got some really pretty conditions out here today. The water is not looking too bad. Waves are not too bad and the guts are really close together. So it's pretty easy make our way out to that next sandbar, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now is cut up some bait and put a bigger one as far out as I can. I think that's a smart idea. I think so as well. Let me see if I can get some mahi. Get, get some mahi? Yes, I'm gonna go for mahi right here off the beach. That's the way I like to fish. So far, we don't have it on camera, but uh, Savvy's got the catch of the day. About a 12 inch whiting. So that's what's for dinner, Savvy. <laughs> It looks 
like you might have caught Pop Pop's line. Yeah, that thing was tiny. Oh, I did see the big mullet, yeah. We'll get some of those for bait tonight for sharks and reds later on. Really? That's right. That, that what actually, out there? Mono was, mono, yeah, I could just take them for them because I could put a mono with them. Yeah, there's one already out there. I'd like to know. That's what I would do. Well, I'll probably be back here in two minutes. We'll be back. It's that time of day right now, it's early afternoon, and the fish kind of turn off right now. We're not gonna get a, I don't expect to see a whole lot of bites or anything. It's, it's possible. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt to have those baits out there, but I really don't expect to get anything for about another hour or two. That's when it's gonna kind of start to pick up. Pro tip on that, when the bite starts to slow down, you gotta double fist the rods. Yep, be jazz hands. <laughs> you got one? What'd you get? Are we in the mood to catch a few whiting? Yeah. I kind of agree. I kind of feel like Taco Tuesday. Oh, Taco Tuesday sounds Taco Tuesday. amazing. Just lips. Let's go get big body. <laughs> Give me that thumbnail. Weight's gone? He cut off your weight? That little beast. That's a keeper. There's some fat whiting out on the second gut. Man, that's almost like redfish size, Rich. Rich and Rachel are coming in. They were working shrimp on the outside of the sandbar and killing the whiting doing it. It looks like they got taken now, but let's see if we can't get them a few more fish. There you go. Can I get a taco? 
tide's coming in. <laughs> Get him. That's a keeper. Go take it over to Papa. Go take it over to Papa. between the dunes, which is where we are at right now, and the cars. We got all this traffic coming through. There's nowhere to park. We're not catching anything big. So we're gonna go ahead and call it, go fillet up all of those whiting, and then figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Gotta do. That's exactly right. technical on me now I see what the f you're doing <laughs> we're not going to be bringing home any awards tonight but man this is not going to be a bad little meal oh, hell it'd be fine. I have no problems cooking this kind of stuff up I'd love to done it ourselves we just don't have the yeah, place but... to do it but that price look this is cheap we we got but two pounds probably. Maybe. At best. We didn't catch the fish that we wanted. We did get about a pound of whiting fillets because we didn't catch what we were looking for. We didn't go through the amount of bait that we thought we were gonna go through. So the restaurant about a block down the street will cook what you catch. So we're going to go ahead and take them a bag of whiting and a bag of bait and let's see how good they can cook up our bait. What do you say? Let's go for a little ride. All right. So we are headed over here to Scuttlebutt's. Now I absolutely love this restaurant. These guys are really cool. I love the food here. Rachel and I come here probably, well, Rachel and I come here a couple times a year, really enjoy their food. So I'm really kind of curious to see how well they do cooking up our bait. <laughs> Uh, uh, side note on this 
we were able to get scuttle gut uh, we were able to get scuttle butts to cook up our bait and we are going to take a look at that in just a moment but while i was hanging out at the bar i ran into uh stephanie and <laughs> i'm just so bad with names i think it was stephanie and joey turns out stephanie works for the same company that i do but we found that out later on. They were asking me at the bar if I knew anybody who could uh, fillet some fish for them. I couldn't think of anybody. So I was like, you know what? I will fillet your fish for you. So while they're in there, they're watching the Astros game. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and take care of filleting their fish for them right now. So that's what we're going to take care of. And then we're going to get our cooked bait back to the hotel and let uh, Rachel, Rich, and Maxine, and Savannah have a taste of a Scuttlebutt's version of our bait. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and fillet these fish. Hey, I don't mean see. to pull you guys out in the way, man. You guys no, got no, nice no, fruit, no, man. No, 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 Shoot, you are like doing us a huge favor. So this was the big fish that I caught today. <laughs> I can't take credit. <laughs> I want to, but I can't. Look at that guy. Like all your videos. On <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> More than you know. Okay. <laughs> you guys have fun. Enjoy your trip. Thank you so much. All right, we got some fish filleted up. That is all done. It is time to get our bait back to the family and see how Scuttlebutts cooked it up. See how they did. Took a little bit longer than expected. I think Rachel's mad <laughs> that I took so long filleting that fish back at the restaurant. Hopefully. Hopefully cooked up bait will be the thing that uh, wins her heart back over all over again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Better. Huh? We can make you one more side. That that that's the beach. So that's our bait <laughs> shrimp. That didn't work out, though. Uh, yeah, no, it's actually it's actually good. I like it. <laughs> There's the uh, the whiting. Mm -hmm. He decided to grill it. I told him hey, chef's good. choice. Good. No, he was cool with that. It was not the first time that he'd ever seen bait shrimp. Bait shrimp. Seen them cool. So what do you think of the bait, Rachel? <laughs> I gotta say, I think those guys did a fantastic job cooking up the shrimp. It was fantastic. Great. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be kind of, kind of sour. Yeah. It's not as good. That is excellent. The whiting. I told him to do chef cho uh, chef's choice with the whiting. Yeah. It's good. It's so cool. And we were trying to use that to catch stuff. That was stupid. Idiots. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> yeah, that came out really good. It came out really good. Scuttlebutts. You guys killed it. Jacob. Jacob was my bartender. Jacob did a fantastic job. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that, man. This food came out amazing. My compliments to the chef.